Hey, what's up, guys? Um, this is a um, few tips and tricks for Microsoft uh, Windows 10. Uh, I have the Ma uh, Mic Microsoft Surface Pro 6. Uh, this is your few little tips and tricks that uh, that I know of. <coughs> Okay. All right. So here's one of the tips I have. Um, it's double screen. Uh, you can be able to put the screen over here, or you can put it over here. Uh, you can even make them, you know, one here, one up here, and then the big screen on here. Let's. Uh, let me give you a little so let's launch this real quick so we can so you want to grab the top part over here this part and kind of just swing it to the right and you're gonna look for that little boom there it is see so then there you go you know and then you let's launch Google Chrome Let's uh, minimize that one and we can bring it over here all the way toward the left same thing grab it on the top wait for that little see and boom so we got double so we can be able to you know work from here and then also right here like if you're going to school because I'm going to school so um, it comes in handy um, and too like if you need a third screen so you grab that part on top again. So and then you want to bring it all the way to the corner until you see that little keep going down. Oh, messed up. Uh, let's go. Keep going all the way. There you go. See? And boom. So let's uh, bring a, let's bring up the store same thing we'll shrink it same thing we're gonna grab it from the top shoot it all the way to the corner let's see let's see if it'll work for us be patient <clears throat> there you go see uh, now we got three screens so I believe we can even do Bring that one all the way down to see and then you would have four screens so that's pretty neat that's pretty cool <clears throat> so like I said I mean if you're doing all kinds of and you need multiple windows like this that way you can be able to work from here you know so you've got home so it's pretty neat so let's go ahead and minimize those so that's first one uh, recording like if you're doing um, some stuff some homework and you need recording you know so what you want to do is come down right here type that in you can um, type in uh, step recorder here it is right there, step recorder. Click that on and here you go. You see you would have this. So you can start record, stop it, and then um, add a comment to there and then you can save it to your files, which is pretty cool, you know, because like I said, um, if you have things that you need to do and um, you need to record for later on, that's pretty neat. I've used it and uh, Used it a couple times, so it's pretty neat. Uh, so we can uh, close that part. Uh, next one, media streaming allows you to share, you know, pictures, videos, uh, music on local networks. Like say, if uh, you know you're in a classroom and people are, want to see, you want to show people, you know, your your work and everything, and which is pretty cool. If you're, um, <clears throat> you can. Uh, share that way or you can share on the big screen I mean um, however you want whatever's uh, convenient for you so that's pretty pretty neat thing um, 
let's see, uh, and then a quick assist, like quick assist is, uh, uh, like if, like me, you know, I'm going to school online, and if I need help with somebody to get access, you know, to show me how to do some kind of, you know, uh, problem, um, something I can't solve, so which is pretty cool. Um, quick assist, you allow, you're allowing somebody to have access to your uh, computer so they can show you how. Uh, so, you can type in quick, see, and quick assist right there. So, and then they would, uh, they would, same thing, uh, they would uh, type it in and and uh, pop this so here you go you get get assistance allow someone you can trust so and then um, or you give assistance you know so and then um, you would send them a code they would type in the code and then you would be able to get access or you get assistance you would send them the code to be able to get access to your computer uh, which is pretty neat pretty cool um, it comes in handy um, let's see, yeah, so that's pretty cool, I mean, comes in handy, uh, let's close that, uh, storage sense, um, just deletes, uh, storage junk files, lets your, your computer, you know, run a little bit quicker, which is pretty neat, uh, start menu, you go to the start menu, Go into type in settings. You go into uh, see. So let's see system. You can go into system. Then you go into storage. Let's see, so this PC. 32.2 gigabytes. Um, so then you can uh, you can automatically turn it on, and it automatically. So we're just gonna put it on, so that way it can uh, automatically free up space. You know, stuff that uh, you don't really need, which is taking up space in your computer. So, close that one. Uh, let's see another one. Um, you know, when you turn on your computer and all of a sudden you just get pop ups all over the place, like, you know, just random, you know, pop ups that come on when you turn on your computer. Uh, there's one way to turn that off. Uh, we can go to um, startup, uh, startup programs. Let's see, so we can go straight right here to the bottom, to the black part right there. So we can right click it and you go into task manager. So, see here is this stuff all right here. So and then we can go to startup. <clears throat> so these are all, you know, a couple of CI disable the Skype for business one, which is you know, always pops up whenever I turn it on. So, um, so, but uh, these are, like I said, there are a few things, you know, if you, that is one way to get rid of the pop ups that come on, you know, to your computer when you turn it on. Uh, yeah, so uh, these are a little few tips and tricks. I uh, hope you like it. Um, go ahead and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it. I, I post random stuff around the house, you know, just, you know, I posted um, how to build a workbench, you know, I, me is like, I just post um, just random stuff, you know, to help anybody else. So, uh, like I said, give me a thumbs up, um, subscribe if you want, um, leave a comment if you want. Um, uh, thanks. See you guys later. Bye.